to back up a little bit, there are about 10 million animals experimented on in Australia each year. Uh, and about 5 million of those are in New South Wales alone. And we're talking about things like um, testing for medic medical purposes. Uh, now, about 1,500 of these are cats and dogs in New South Wales, if I'm not mistaken. So our bill um, mandate, now what happens is after about 10 years or however long the animals are tested on for, um, for cats and dogs in particular, they are usually euthanized and that's kind of just the standard, or at least it was. Now, um, we, we, we knew that most of these dog, cats and dogs and probably most of the animals in the, med, in the testing industry, they're healthy at the end of that time, mostly. Mm. Um, you know, they've, they've had various tests on them, some very invasive, some, other, some less so, but they're, they're usually capable of living, you know, living out the rest of their life. So we just said, why, not, why don't we change this so that these animals have to be given a chance to, um, to be rescued, to be rehomed, um, to, to, to live a good life after that and we you know there's, I don't think there's any reason why they can't so it was just a very small change and it only affects unfortunately at the moment cats and dogs but that is 1500 cats and dogs each year who will um, uh, give, be given the chance to to have a new life 